Second thing is the gravity load management. Um, um, that's also important because if we take the building and carry it for a gravity load, what we see is the, the amount of material that is needed is the blue line. And the maximum material that you use for the vertical elements is the, is the pink line. So essentially there was very, the material was used very, very effectively without needing a lot of penalty for resisting the lateral load despite its very speak height. Oops, sorry. Um, maybe I, sorry about that. Anyway, the structural system which Bill talked about, and uh, why am I talking about this? Because these are the kind of things that emitted simplification in the construction process because essentially keeping member sizes the same um, and so on and so forth. So essentially the, the gravity load, uh, the lateral load resisting system consists of a reinforced concrete frame um, up to 156 and above that it's all uh, structural steel. Um, again, um, you know, the concrete material that is used for the tower essentially C80 concrete from the foundation all the way up to level 126 and C60 concrete all the way up. So there's a lot of demand uh, 